what is durational alimony? So when we talk about alimony in Florida, and this is just for Florida family law and divorce, I'm a Florida divorce and family law attorney, William S. Foley from William S. Foley PA. So we gotta look at the three different types, and we have other videos on our website, wfoleylaw.com. So we look at the different types of time periods for a marriage. So we're looking from the time that you got married, you said I do, to the time that somebody files for divorce. I don't, I do, I don't, I do, I don't, I do, I don't. So from that time period, that's the counting. And you know, I'm looking at the camera, so maybe it's I do over here and then I don't over here. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll just, yeah. So from the time you say I do to the time you say I don't, that's the calculation period. So if you're between zero and 70 years, that's you, 70, 70 years. <laughs> That's a short-term marriage, guys, 70 years, okay. So if you're between zero and seven years, that's a short-term marriage. Um, you know, usually we're looking at bridge the gap alimony, sometimes it's a form of durational, maybe rehabilitative alimony, maybe lump sum, some type of temporary support. Again, other video, let's look for that. We're looking for the, between the seven to 17 is the moderate term. That's where a lot of the durational alimony comes in. 17 and above is permanent alimony. That's a long-term marriage. You're looking more at um, permanent alimony awards. Again, there's exceptions for every rule. So, you know, sometimes there's durational and longer term marriages. Sometimes there's permanent and less than 17. But if we're looking at the guiding lines of, Durational was kind of made for that middle category, but it can be for that shorter term, so below the seven years. But So let's let's look at that middle category. Okay, so the courts are looking at a specified time period, and they're saying, okay, well, it's a 12-year marriage, let's say. So, you know, max of 12 years of alimony, and for a specific amount um, that the term of it, sh it shouldn't go more than that. So if you, the two of you agree to it, the judge awards it and says, well, we're gonna do 10 years of alimony. It's not supposed to exceed that term. You know, there are obviously, again, exceptions that serve exceptional circumstances. Again, look at the case law, look at that. But for the majority of it is it's for a set period of time, a set amount, and that's what the courts are looking to do of, of saying, okay, well, it's not quite a permanent alimony situation that you know goes on for longer than that. It's not in that lower, you know, short term alimony of bridge the gap of up to a max of 24 months or one of these other types, it's, it's, it's for a duration, for a duration of time. So it could be, again, six years, seven years, eight years, 10, you know, it, it could be these different time periods that are specific to the set of circumstances. The statute lays it out pretty specifically of you know what you're supposed to look at for each of the different types of alimony. But for this video, for durational alimony, that's a little bit of information. This is William S. Foley, thank you.